Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, back with another DVD, or technically Blu-ray dash DVD review in this case, and it's not of a season of a TV show, it is actually of a movie, an animated movie. Um, it is Batman Beyond Return of the... Return of the Glare. Return of the Joker. Um, great movie, by the way. Before I talk about the copy that I have, the DVD and Blu-ray portions, the movie itself is great. If you're a fan of animated movies that are a little bit dark, uh, this is a good movie for you. If you're a fan of Batman, this is a good movie for you. If you're a fan of just, like, movies in general, uh, this is a good movie. And it's rated PG-13. It's, um, you know, it's not, like, gory, serious, but it deals with some serious tones, and people die in this movie. Uh, so that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's a great movie, and I, I really can't recommend it enough, to be honest. Uh, it's a continuation of the Batman Beyond series, and also as an extension, Batman the a the original animated series. Um, and so it fits into both those series. Although you really you don't need to you don't need to know about either of the series really to understand it. You just kind of have to have a basic understanding of Batman. Uh, you know, there's, there might be a scene or two that you don't understand where it has Terry McGinnis, which is the new future Batman in the black suit, uh, has his girlfriend or his mom. There's, like, a few scenes uh, that you might not quite understand. I mean, I haven't seen Batman Beyond, and I've only seen a little bit of the animated series, so I don't exactly know the mythos of him, but I know a little bit from what, what we're kind of seeing, uh, what, what we're shown, and... I understood it just fine. So it's not, a, it's not a mandatory thing when you see this movie. And it's, um, it, it's a solid standalone, and, or it's a nice little companion to either of the shows. Um, Alright, so let's get into what the, uh, what's actually on the copy. Uh, this, by the way, comes with a Blu-ray and a DVD, which is currently in my computer because I need it for reference purposes to list off all the bonus features. Uh, but I promise it's there. So right off the bat, it gets bonus points for the fact that it has both Blu-ray and DVD, which means if you're like me, um, you know, and you have some friends who are like big movie lovers, you can buy this, keep the Blu-ray, and give away the DVD or something like that. Let your friend borrow it or whatever, and not worry about if it lo if it gets lost, uh, because they're they're almost exactly the same thing. I'll get into the differences in a minute. But uh, right off the bat, I really like it when they do this for Blu-rays, because it's cool, because not everyone has a Blu-ray player. Some people are going to get a Blu-ray player in the future. Like, I got one for Christmas. But, um, you know, a lot of people know that they're going to eventually succumb to it, but want to wait until prices drop. So, you know, they'll buy this, or they'll know someone with a Blu-ray player, and they'll keep the DVD and give the Blu-ray, or whatever. So I really like that they do this, and it's really accommodating to, uh, to people for, with both formats. Um, it's worth noting that the copy, uh, the movie version on both of them is the original uncut version. Uh, yeah, this movie came out in 2000, around the time of the, uh, the Columbine shootings, which are very serious and sad, and I don't really want to go into that very deeply, but, um, the movie does feature guns just a little bit, uh, and, and a little bit of excessive violence. Uh, not, not excessive violence, but maybe a little bit more than would be completely child-friendly. Uh, so they did release an edited version, um, and that is not on here, that's not, the edited version isn't, but from what I know about it, it's a little bit more scary and creepy, because you don't see any of the deaths on screen. They happen off screen with horrified yelling, and just implied horrible death and violence. So, um, yeah, censorship. Uh, but, but seriously, um, this is the original uncut version. Now, on the, uh, the DVD, it is in widescreen, and the Blu-ray, it is in full screen. Think about that for a second. Isn't it a little bit weird that the uh, Blu-ray has the full screen, the like older version, and the DVD has the widescreen, the newer version? Uh, well, it's actually a good thing that the Blu-ray has the full screen, because technically, it's a full screen movie. Uh, what I mean by that is when you watch, and I did a side-by-side -side comparison, uh, when you watch the DVD, and compared to the Blu-ray, the DVD cuts off the top and bottom to give the uh, appearance of widescreen, even though it's not actually. I mean, it is, you know, that format, but it, you lose information. Uh, you know, you lose little bits of the screen, so it's better off presented in full screen. Uh, a lot of companies don't seem to understand that. Uh, it's not worth making it widescreen if it wasn't originally widescreen. 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a theatrical release movie. It was a home video movie. So I don't know why they made it widescreen in the first place. Maybe to seem more cinematic or whatever. Uh, the Blu-ray version also offers just a slightly more high quality version. Uh, you know, I, I don't... I don't really know if there is an HD in animation, uh, but I do know that they they at least touched up some things. Like they, they made it a little bit look a little bit clearer. Uh, this is right about around the time of digital animation, so when it was just starting. So um, yeah, they they definitely cleaned it up a little bit for the Blu-ray release. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the movies comparatively, and also the Warner Brothers logo at the beginning is the newer version in the uh, Blu-ray, and it's the older version in the DVD. Makes sense because the DVD is probably an exact. Uh, they probably just took the same DVD out of the original release or the original uncut release and just popped it into this uh, little Blu-ray case, which, again, nice bonus. Uh, so speaking of bonuses, bonus features are a commentary, which is a really nice surprise. Uh, it's a 2000 movie, so right around the time when DVDs were kind of coming into the picture here. So uh, I guess they wanted to promote that by, you know, pulling out all the stops and putting in a bunch of bonus features plus a commentary, which they couldn't do on VHSs, uh, to my knowledge. Uh, so it's nice to see one. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, there's animatics, which are, you know, the basic rough sketches of how the movie's eventually going to look. It's all right. There's a little documentary making of, uh, and it's, it's a little bit cheesy. It has the, the newscaster from the movie like, the, the animated version kind of talking, you know, asking the questions and stuff. It's a little bit cheesy, but it provides a little bit of cool insight. You get to see some of the voice actors and the makers of the, the show and the movie. Um, let's see, there's little video character bios where you scroll through the bios and it tells a little bit about, like, all of five characters. I mean, it's, it's a little bit weird that they would only do, like, they only do, like, you know, uh, Terry McGinnis, the new Batman. They only do Bruce Wayne. They do, like, the DD twins, which are two minor parts of the villain gang. Uh, like, they only do very, a uh, very few, like, four of them. It's a little bit weird that you, you think they'd either do, like, uh, more characters, like, at least all of the bad guys and all the good guys, or, like, none at all. But, again, extra bonus features are always nice. Uh, there's confidential bat footage for your eyes only. Oop, did not mean to turn the sound on there. Um... Yes, and this is, let me see what this is. I do believe this is a deleted, yes, it's a deleted scene. Um, and it's, it's storyboarded, but it has uh, some of the voice acting, so it's all right. And it goes on for quite a while. Um, then after that, we have to continue to the next page, because I can't, I can't remember all these bonus features. There's a lot. There's a Crash music video, which Crash is apparently like, um, the band that made it is the... They're, they did the score for the movie, and, and it's an awesome rock track. I don't particularly like the music video because it's very, um, how do I put this, death metal. Uh, I don't like the, the singing, like it's bah! Um, but I like the instrumental, and the instrumental is used in the movie. Uh, and then trailers, um, and trailers are different in the Blu-ray and the DVD release. DVD release has trailers for like movies that came out in the 90s. 19, late 90s dash early 2000s, whereas the Blu-ray updated it and has like DC Nation, uh, more recent uh, trailers and stuff, more relevant stuff. Uh, and then the only the the only other difference in bonus features is the fact that the DVD version contains bat trivia and the Blu-ray version does not contain bat trivia. I don't know why they took it out. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure they took it out. Maybe it's like a Easter egg or something. All, all it is is like three three or four questions. Uh, multiple choice, you scroll through, you select the answer, you know, and, and a lot of it's from the actual series, not from the movie, so I couldn't even answer them correctly. Um, there's no penalty if you lose, but like a, a music sting playing and you get to choose again. Uh, again, a neat little touch. It, they're kind of experimenting with what DVDs could do at the time, I guess, and it's not like sorely missed from the Blu-ray, but it is a little bit weird that that's omitted. Um, but yeah, that's Pretty much, and there's also a different uh, title screen for the the movie, the uh, the menu screen on the DVD and Blu-ray, just slightly different. Uh, it's like the same pictures, just arranged a little bit differently. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, again, great movie. Um, this copy is especially good uh, for for a number of reasons. Like I said, tons of special features, uh, and the fact that it comes with the DVD and the Blu-ray. Nice touch. Um, I highly approve of it. And I, I cannot recommend the movie, and I cannot recommend this copy enough. So, there you have it. Bye Guy Rules.